So this is the first lesson of HTML and CSS. Um, we'll start with HTML side of it and then we'll proceed to CSS. On our desktop, we're going to create a folder um, and call this folder uh, projects as we're going to be creating a lot of these projects. And within our projects folder, we can create another folder and we call this project A, okay? So this is the first project that we are working on. After doing that, we're going to go to our browser and download a text editor. So if you type in uh, sublime text.com and go to the download page and choose your system from here um, and download and then install. Once you've installed it, uh, open it up, sublime text, and go to project. Uh, click on save project as and go to your documents and create a new folder in your documents. Okay. Um, I'm going to call this something like Sublime uh, Project and then create. And up here, I'll change this so it's HTML underscore lessons. So go back on to Project and add folder to Project. Go to your desktop and choose Project folder and click on Open. On the left side, we can see our folder structure in Sublime. Right click and click on Add New File to it and then go to File, Save As, and save this within Project A folder. Save it as index.html. Index is the home page for every website, and click on Save. Okay. Now we can start writing some code, but first let's have a look. Go to your desktop and find index.html. Double click it, and this is your first web page. Congratulations. Okay, so it's blank. That's because we haven't written any lines of code. So in our index, the first thing we do is write less than exclamation mark doc type HTML and then greater than sign. So this basically says we are about to start writing the latest version of HTML, HTML5. Let's go into the documentation, which is w3.org. HTML is made up of elements. Let's look into these elements. So enter elements there and select HTML5. And let's click on elements by function. So it's grouped for us nicely. So these are elements. Okay, so when we write HTML, we basically write elements. So this is the root element. This is the head. This is style. And HTML is made up of it, basically. So the second thing you would always write in your HTML is um, HTML element. And you close it like this, okay, with a forward slash. And within that, we're going to write our head element like this, and we close it like that, and we write the body element like this, and we close it like that. Okay, so this is HTML in action. Everything basically has some form of opening and closing, and we indent it so we can see where things open and close. If we come back to our documentation, we can see there's a whole bunch of these elements. Um, and it's grouped for us, so we can reference things a bit better. So under sections, uh, we have all these elements. So we're coming together just nicely. We're learning a few of these elements. We've written quite a bit. Within head, we're going to add um, one more element, so title. And we're going to say lesson one, and we close title like that. So if you go back into your browser, and we reset this page, and you see up here it says lesson one. So that's what title is there for. Every time you use title, it does that. In body, we're going to add another element. This is P element, and is for paragraph. And I could write, this is my first web page, and I can close it like that. So if we save this and go back to our browser and reset, we can see uh, some text, this is my first web page is displayed. So everything we put within the body section shows up within the body of our site. We've learned uh, the first thing we do is doc type followed by HTML. HTML has head and body and things go into head and things go into the body section. So in this first lesson, we've learned quite a few things. Uh, we've, we've used title, we haven't used this one yet. Uh, we've used head and uh, we've used body, and there's a few more sections uh, to look into, and we've used uh, our P for paragraph. 
So HTML is essentially made up of these elements. And what you can do after this lesson is try to recreate this uh, lesson without referencing. So it's 10 lines of code and it's quite straightforward. And this is the first lesson of quite a few to come. Um, this lesson will end here. And in the next lesson, we'll um, proceed to work on actual projects. So every HTML will have this in it. So I will see you in the next lesson.